The man accused of killing Cal Poly student Kristen Smart makes a court appearance today, the latest legal step in the high-profile murder case. News Channel 12's Dave Alley is live in San Luis Obispo with an update. Dave. Scott, uh, just about a month after his last court appearance, Paul Flores was back before a judge in San Luis Obispo County Superior Court this afternoon. A pre-preliminary hearing uh, was held here for Paul Flores along with his father, Ruben Flores. Once again, the two defendants were not physically in the courtroom, both appearing virtually as they have done in all of their previous court appearances. Paul Flores was at the San Luis Obispo County Jail where he's been since his arrest on April 13th. Flores has been in custody at the jail after his request for bail was denied by Judge Craig Von Ruyen last month. Ruben Flores was in a suit Monday for the first time since his arrest. Ruben Flores has been out on bond after Van Ruyen reduced his bail from $250,000 to $50,000 on April 22nd. Monday's hearing was very brief, lasting just over three minutes from start to finish. The pre-preliminary was held to firm up the next important dates in this high-profile case. A second pre-preliminary hearing is scheduled for June 21st, while the preliminary hearing is now on the calendar for July 6th. Attorneys for both defendants and the prosecution all agreeing to the court dates. The preliminary hearing is the next crucial step in the legal process. With the prosecution attempting to convince the judge they have enough evidence that shows the defendants should stand trial. In a brief glimpse of that, prosecutor Chris Prevell said, quote, we have discovered substantial material to the defense already and that there is going to be additional discovery added as the investigation is ongoing and we will provide it as soon as we get it, end quote. Robert Sanger, attorney for Paul Flores, quickly responded, quote, and we will look forward to receiving it, end quote. Prevell has indicated the preliminary hearing will last 12 full days as the prosecution presents testimony and evidence. Judge Van Ruyen said he will be out of town in late July, so the preliminary hearing would be paused and delayed if it went longer than expected. Now, Flores is accused of killing Kristen Smart nearly 25 years ago to the day next Tuesday, May 25th, marking the grim milestone when she disappeared at some point uh, after walking with Paul Flores on the Cal Poly campus. Paul Flores is the last known person to see her alive. He has been charged with first degree murder. His father charged uh, as an accessory to the crime. Both men have pleaded not guilty. Reporting live in San Luis Obispo, Dave Valley, News Channel 12.